Hello, welcome to another beer review and this beer I'm going to do now is from a brewer which I've never had any of their beers before but I've seen loads of people out there um, review them and do them and so it's from a, a brewer in Somerset and it is the Wild Beer Company and this is their Wild Goose Chase lovely jubbly boys and girls beautiful looking bowl as you can see there um, there's the back side it's bottle condition because there's a heck of a load of sediment in the bottom of this I shall read the back for you so um, I'm in the, into the land of unknown um, lots, you know I've seen lots of people do these it's the first time for me <laughs> so the wild beer company we believe exceptional brewing stems from imagination and passion it's not a process it's not just a process never average every wild brew is a result of wild minds conceiving creating and crafting beers that explore the boundaries of your palate brewing doesn't need to be confined by rules traditional ingredients by adding wild fifth ingredient our process to our beers, we want to give you a truly memorable drinking experience, altering your perceptions and thrilling your taste buds. That sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Drink wildly different. We thought we would never make this beer exactly as we wanted. In fact, it felt like a bit of a wild goose chase. The all day, inverted commas, wild beer. Um, I'm not going to go into this, just come up with loads of taste notes. Uh, we have been chasing this beer since we started the brewery and love this combination. A wild beer, tart and fruity, yet well hop drinkable. Um, I'm not going to go into what they want, but it's dry hopped. And I do like dry hopped beers. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, there's, it's all gone cloudy because I've disturbed it all. But, you know, let's crack her open like we do. Oh. Loads of the bubbles just flying up the bottle there. Um, nice little crown that. Like antlers and stuff. Like a, one of them mooses you have on your wall in a stately home, you know. <laughs> See what we get from the... It smells beautiful. It smells beautiful. Um, not as much gooseberry-ish as what they say on the bottle. It's more pearish to me. There's a hint of biscuitness there, but only a tiny hint, but a little bit of apricot as well chucked in, but it smells really nice, so let's pour out like we do. She's come out quite pale looking. Very pale looking, gooseberry looking actually, gooseberry kind of like juice looking, so let's chuck all the sediment in, get everything chucked in there. Very pale looking as you can see. Big white head, um, stick her there. Quite a bit of sediment chucked in. Very cloudy looking beer. Um, actually, it's foggy as hell. It's pea soup. <laughs> she looks really nice. Quite unusual because she is glowing. Absolutely glowing. Let's see what we get from the. Do you know what? There is a hint of gooseberry coming out now. There is. Gooseberry, apricot, a little bit of kind of like biscuit base, kind of like biscuitness there. It smells really nice. Absolutely. So cheers, I'm going to go in. doing what I expected it to do um, it's given me that bitterness gooseberry type of thing going um, grapefruit gooseberry bitterness there it's there and it's, 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 it's quite a natural type of bitterness to it it's nothing like um, there I say artificial you know some beers you taste and there's kind of like a, a, a bitterness there and you think 
you know, it's, it's a bit too much in some beers. This beer, it feels like you're getting the natural kind of like bitterness from the actual fruit itself, if that makes sense, if I made sense there. Um, beautiful juiciness as well about it from the fruit itself. Um, it's really nice. It's beautiful. It's nice, crisp and cleanness on the back end as well. It's 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 beautiful. Really, really nice beer. Um, it's four point five percent. It's definitely a session beer. This it's um, beautiful. It really is. Imagine having a gooseberry tart. That's what this one is. It's, it's, you're getting a natural juice from the gooseberries. You're getting a kind of like a biscuit base from the tart itself. And um, it's beautiful. Really, really nice. Um, I have got another beer from them, which I'm going to review next week, hopefully, a Saison, which is... Uh, I think it's going to be beautiful as well. This is this is um, I say it's zingy. I suppose it is zingy in a way. It's not too full on. It's just everything about this beer feels natural in taste. You know, from the gooseberries to the biscuit bit, and the, you know the the base of it. It's, it just feels natural, and it's absolute absolute belt of a beer. It really is. Um, I'll have to get some more of these. Going for one more time, seven minutes in. Yeah, beautiful. Boys and girls, enough said. Wild Beer Company, Wild Goose Chase, highly recommend that one. Buy it, enjoy it. Thanks for watching this review. I'll see you boys and girls soon. So cheers.